nothing wrong with being a selfless person who's ready and willing to help others, but when is putting others before ourselves too much? And how does this keep us from fulfilling our own hopes and dreams? Never saying no. There are more of other people's tasks on your to-do list than your own. Helping, consulting, looking after, buying, lending, you seem to be at everyone else's service. And if you're asked what these people have ever done for you, you could spend the rest of your life trying to think up an answer. Any of this sound familiar? Then, Houston, we have a problem. The truth is, you don't owe anyone anything. We're all responsible adults who can take care of ourselves and solve our own problems. Make your own tasks and goals your number one priority. If someone tries to say that you're selfish because of this, they're probably just trying to manipulate your feelings. Before blindly extending a helping hand to someone, ask yourself if this person, in fact, profits from being saved all the time. And would they do the same for you? If not, then it's not worth your time, effort, and resources. Always looking for approval. Tons of people struggle with this psychological problem every day. They don't feel confident enough in themselves, so they constantly try to get approval from people whose opinions are important to them. They do something just to be praised or complimented by their boss, colleagues, friends, and relatives. There's nothing wrong with a pat on the back for a job well done, but if you only feel good about yourself when someone else gives you positive feedback, then you've got some things to work on. You have to know that you're good enough and that you don't have to prove it. Instead of looking for approval, use your energy to work towards your goals and dreams. Develop your professional skills, nurture your hobbies, take care of your health, and do all these things for you. With time, your confidence will blossom and your need for others' approval will disappear. Smoothing things over. You avoid confrontation like the plague. You don't argue, complain, debate, or stand up for your beliefs. It's easier for you to accept the situation, have patience, and be the good guy so that you won't provoke any conflict. But if you don't assert your opinion, nobody will ever know that you have one. So the solution is simple. Stand up for what you believe in. Just like every person, you deserve the right to have a point of view and be heard. And who cares if somebody disagrees? You can't please every single person out there. You don't have to look for support from those who sound louder or seem more confident than you. When you express yourself openly, you show your individuality. How can anybody get to know you if you're holding in your true opinions? Never forget that deserved respect is more important than a one-time smile. Blaming yourself for other people's feelings. You often apologize if you can't fulfill someone's request or magically guess their thoughts, expectations, or feelings. Anger, offense, dissatisfaction, sadness, any negative emotions in other people frighten you and make you feel guilty. Take a deep breath and put down this heavy load you're trying to carry. Someone else's feelings, problems, and expectations aren't your responsibility. When you're feeling strangled by guilt, think about this. What effort did that person make to solve their own problem? Why do they have time to whine and suffer if the problem still hasn't been resolved? If a person constantly makes you feel guilty for not doing what they want, it's their own fault. Do you really need people like this in your life? The faster you cut ties with them, the better. Not setting boundaries. This problem, just like the problem of never saying no, is common in people pleasers. It's one thing to agree to do something if you have the time and are willing, but it's a whole other level when you drop your own plans just to help someone else. Your best friend is freaking out, again, because she can't find a babysitter. So you cancel your dinner and a movie with your boyfriend just to drive across town and take care of her little one. It might seem harmless, but when is enough enough? You can't please and save everyone all the time. Know your limit and be assertive. Are you going away for the weekend? Tell the team you can work on the project until Friday and that's it, period. Of course, it won't be easy since everyone's already gotten used to you always coming to the rescue. But with time and persistence, it'll become your new norm. Set boundaries and don't overstretch yourself. Doing things you don't like. Phase one of this problem involves getting stuck in someone else's requests and rarely declining new ones. Your time gets chopped up into tiny pieces, none of which are yours. 
You have to allocate time in your life for work, rest, housework, hobbies, or whatever you like. Be ruthless and don't give up this time you've set aside for you. Phase two is way more complicated. If you know in your heart that you don't really like your job or certain people in your life, and this rut has got you feeling down, it's time to take action and stop torturing yourself. Figure out what makes you miserable and erase it from your life. You deserve to wake up with a smile on your face every single day. Are you guilty of any of these bad habits? Tell us in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends so that they can break these psychological chains too.